So there's a little confusion about what was and was not said. What David Goyer, who helped Zach on some DC projects, said was he thought BVS the way Warner Brothers did it was a mistake. He's not saying that the Snyder film was a mistake. He just felt that they should have done a sequel to Man of Steel and that would have been a better way to set up the DC universe. But they were pressured to sort of pump out BVS in order to set up a kind of MCU style universe. And that was just too much, too fast, too quick. And the executives there didn't give enough proper guidance. And so they were sort of misshaping the way the mythology should have worked out. And DC, every 18 months, uh, someone new would come in. We were just getting whiplash. Every new person was like, we're going to go bigger. So the way some people are reporting it is Goyer is attacking Zack Snyder. He's not really criticizing Snyder. He's just criticizing the way the DC executives were treating these properties and these characters. Namely, just wanted to copycat the MCU, set up the Justice League very quick, get all these projects out there, make a lot of money. And they weren't going to take the proper time and energy to really make sure these projects made a lot of sense and were cohesive. My own stance with BVS is it's a great film, but it's very flawed. But I don't think the Ultimate Edition really resolved everything. I still feel there were a lot of questions with BVS. Because again, it was just trying to do so many things. Be a Batman story, Superman story, set up the Justice League. And set up all these things way too much, way too fast. And instead of having one or two more films to really set everything up more properly, they really rushed through it and created a big mess that we're all dealing with. But Goyer is not attacking Zack Snyder. He's just being critical of the way Warner Brothers has treated the DCEU. And I don't think it's improving. A lot of people are hoping that James Gunn, now that he's in, quote, complete control, he's not in complete control, will at least create a more cohesive universe. I'm very skeptical we're going to get anything better, but... Again, at this point, the MCU is in a very big question mark period with the Marvels maybe doing okay, but not succeeding wildly. So they're in a bit of a transition point themselves. But I don't blame Zach. I do think he made a good effort with BVS, but it was unnecessarily divisive because it was trying to do too much too fast. And there were a lot of core pressures to create a pseudo MCU. And that ended up doing a lot of long-term damage to the DC universe overall. Love Man of Steel, but even as a big fan of Man of Steel, I I've had to acknowledge it. It struggled. A lot of people did not like the movie. I, I can't ever say the words, I think Man of Steel is a masterpiece of the comic book movie genre without having 50 people yelling at me, Man of Steel sucked. And, and that's fine. That's fair. It's, it's 